What's up guys, Duke of Hayes here, thank you once again for allowing me into your homes. Today is Saturday, November 18th, 2023, we are currently playing through The Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. We just got done with the uh, Skull Forest, now we're off to the Village of Thieves. Uh, Off to the village of thieves, eh? Does my house always have hearts in it? Yes, that's so nice of them. Good old people to hard code you always having hearts in here. But uh, hello, I am Duke of Hayes. If this is your first time seeing me, I mostly stream um, RPGs, JRPGs, WRPGs. Um, I'm wanting to branch out more into action games like Zelda. It's just that these games are have people who love them i love them too obviously but what i mean by that is that people already kind of have like oh can i not use it over here weird is there some sort of magical force stopping me from using it Oh, what's up with that? I wonder why I can't use it. Huh, so I guess the mirror doesn't work for some reason? That's cool. I can get to the dark world just fine by going this way. In the skeleton forest, you must sure you can make your way out of the forest. Somewhat ironically, you can't do so without going back into the dungeon. Go east, head south, take out Taros. This place is a soulless husk. I, I just have to get to the village, right? That's all that matters. I'll get there. I'm sure there's a way for me to get to the village. Don't you worry. But uh, I do mostly stream single player games. Um, those are just easier for me to do. Oh, look at that. I can't enter the village from this angle. I think the darker colored ones mean that I need um, the Titan's Mint or whatever it's called. The upgraded one to allow me to pick up even heavier things. So that means I have to get there from the forest. Okay. And you're really telling me that there's no easy way to get here? Is that what you're telling me right now? Well, fine, whatever. If there is, I don't know what it is. If there is an easy way, I don't know what that way is. So I'll just... Do things the old fashioned way, I guess. But yeah, my commentary is. While it's best described as weird, um, I sing a lot, I hum a lot, I. If there's a track that I like, I'm gonna be humming it off key sometimes, a lot of the time, just because. Uh, my mind kind of goes a mile a minute, so... 
I'll be thinking of something at some point, and then it'll immediately switch to something else. And so I'm. It's all me doing it like unconsciously, subconsciously, not unconsciously, because I. That means I'd be asleep. <laughs> but it's 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 me not really like having. Oh, would you fucking fuck off, dude? I pardon my French. It's not that big a deal, but it is effing annoying. I hate these things. Especially since, like, they can get inside your hitbox and hit you multiple times. It's like stupid bullshit, dude. Like, Zelda's always been kind of cheap like that, dude. Zelda's always been kind of cheap like that, like, let's be real. Enemy hitboxes and their ability to hit you are hella whack. It's always been a whack thing. Oh, would you f- these dudes are- I mean, it's my fault, I was asking for trouble. I don't even have to kill these guys. I don't know why I'm bothering. Oh, dude. Fuck off with your cheapness, man. Like, I need hearts. You know... I remember going to, um the light world up here because there's a fairy fountain. Let's uh, do that, shall we? Because I've lost all my lives coming up here. Ba -da -da. Ba -da 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 -da. Okay, so I can come to the light world from the dark world, but not vice versa. I guess it's always been like that, right? Maybe I'm just thinking that I could just take myself there, but I have to actually either go in through Hyrule Castle or... Either go in through Hyrule Castle or... Like one of the little portals, like by the lake or whatever. But yeah, I'm kind of running slow today, sorry. Or maybe I'm running slow all the time, I don't know. But, oh, yeah, I didn't mention, I didn't stream yesterday because I had a doctor's appointment because I needed to get back on metformin to get my diabetes under control. And they told me that my A1C was 8.8, .8, which was worryingly high. So, they want to put me on Ozempic. But I have not seen that it's been approved by the pharmacy yet. I hope my... Insurance covers it. We'll see what happens. Medicaid. I hope Medicaid covers it because that's what I have. In the state of New Mexico, we're, we're very fortunate to have Medicaid. Uh, here we go. Village of Outcasts. It's a ghost! It's just a former shell of what it used to be. Oh, look, like the buildings are all buried in it or whatever. I mean, these are two different worlds. Like, they exist in different dimensions or whatever. Maybe. I don't know. It's Zelda <clears throat> does a lot of the same themes. Like, the Shadow Realm also exists in... Well, I saw this guy. How many fish? Oh, 
Oh, sweet. Got it. I got it like on the first try. Nice. I saw a speedrunner. That's where you get a piece of heart is in this place. Nice. I assume that's what the guide's about to tell me. Soulless husk, blah, 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 blah. First stop is the house in the northeastern part of the village. So 300 rupees. There's like 600 rupees in this place, but like... I don't need that much money right now. That's too much. Now it's time to spend some of that money. Pizza Heart 19 is the only reason I'm telling you because one of the prices is. Okay, so I already got that. Oh, so we're just supposed to go straight to the dungeon now, I guess. Okay. Thieves Town. The dungeon. Uh... So the dungeon is right here. I thought it was. Oh, you're supposed to pull on it. See, I saw the guy dash into it in the... Oh lord. I saw the guy dash into it on a, a speed run. The thing that I was watching. Oh, there's the map. That wasn't too hard to find at all. Okay, so these dudes are... Are these guys supposed to be Gerudos, or what? So they're the thieves. It's called Thieves Town, after all. You know, a thief used to live here a long time ago, and then he disappeared or something. I don't know. It's like, if these two worlds are different, like, why would it mean anything that a thief used to live in this house? So is the light world the dark world, or is it not? It's probably not, right? A thief used to live here a long time ago. Uh, oh, yeah? What difference does that make to me? I don't know, I'm just giving you interesting tidbits of information, sir. Um, okay. Oh, look at that guy. He shoots out the stuff from his mouth. Okay, so I see a wall I can blow up up here. God. Like I said, man, there's always a bunch of shit on the screen in Zelda games. For you to actively have to dodge. Here's the compass. Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry, I. After watching the footage yesterday, I said a lot of words that started with P. Boast. Three boasts. But, um, I. Don't have an air filter on this. Pop filter. I don't have a bop filter on this. Microphone. So I can make the sounds a little softer if I make it into a b, b, b sound. Uh oh, I don't want to get hit by whatever the hell that is. And I don't want to get hit by these enemies. Alright, so let me actually pay attention to the dungeon layout a little. He might whittle, don't touch me. Like, <laughs> this shit just exists to get in your way, man. And, like, you really ask yourself, like, why is there a sentient string of fireballs in this fucking place? And really, the answer is just to get in the way, dude. It exists only just to, like, be annoying. And another thing that you have to, like, not touch. Okay, don't touch me, please. It's like, what even is that thing? Is it a monster? Is it just some sort of energy thing that follows me around? It's like a lot of the, also a lot of the fucking enemy design in this game is like, what the fuck is it? He's saying that a magical fucking discus is just following me around? Like, why? 
Well, we want more shit to throw at you, but we're kind of running out of monster ideas, so there's just, you know, fucking fireballs that hover around and get in the way. God dang. Nuisance, nuisance, nuisance. So, the compass was over here. Like, this shit... Again, oh, if this thing touches me, it just turns me into my bunny form. Is there any way to not be a bunny? How long does that last, huh? Dude, man, just touching these guys causes two hearts worth of damage. It's so cheap. Like, the damage is insane on these dudes. I mean, if the main mechanic of a lot of enemies is just to touch you, then yeah, I can see why they'd have to make it hurt a lot. So they're pretty easy to avoid. It's my fault for getting close to them, I guess. Oh, right. There's just right string of fireballs. I just hover around this place. Right, I forgot about the string of fireballs. That's on me. So that needs the big key. Some things, like, yeah, you're not supposed to question it. It's just, it's a fireball thing. Like, stop asking questions about why the game is cheap and just play it. Fair point, fair point. Hey, you know, fair point, dude. So that had the compass in it. Is there a reason for me to be going down here is the question. No. And again, this is just me exploring the dungeon like at my leisure. Like, yes, I complain. Yes, I could follow a guide to go faster, but... That's the whole point of playing a Zelda game is the exploration. Like that's what inspired Miyamoto to make the game in the first place. He's just out exploring his neighbor's yards and shit, which I guess is, you know, something that you can do in Japan, I guess, in the nineteen fifties or whenever he was a kid. Dude is actually kinda old. Okay, so there must be a lower area over here that I'm supposed to... Because I see a chest over there. I think I've seen that, but I've been talking too much and just shooting the shit with, with myself. The, uh, I'm not noticing that there's a corner I think I'm supposed to... Here. Here we go. Here's the big key. Okay, so this dungeon's probably super short, huh? God damn, I cannot see you under the bridge. Get out of my face. Get out of my furs. Oh, fuck off, dude. Pardon my French. I've just, like, had it. I've had it, I've had it, I've had it. Okay, now where was the big key door? I remember seeing it, it was, I think it's up here somewhere. Just fucking dumb, dude. Again, your worst thing is to actually try and fight. Like, oh look, this is how I get to the bombable wall. Check that out. <clears throat> Come on, dude, give me a heart. Okay, so what would be the reason for me to go here? Money, I mean, that's fine. There's another bombable thing right here. Oh, you know, I forgot that I could- Ow! You know, I forgot I could pick up bombs in the first place. You know, I forgot I could do that. Just money? Come on, dude. I don't need money. I need hearts. If I only had a heart. I need hearts to live. Uh, okay, so... It's cool, I guess. It's like $20 right there that I didn't have before. But you know, what I'd really like is... Uh, 
Some hearts. Just keep moving. There's always shit coming at you in these dungeons, dude. It's your best. It's really in your best interest to just keep moving. It's really in your best interest to just keep on trucking, dude. Like, one of you be like willing to give me a heart, dude. Oh, the key. There's a locked door over here. Okay. But like I said, so many people like play this game. It's pretty beloved. A lot of people speed run this game, so the odds of us getting any sort of attention on a Saturday is like super low, I feel. Because people, like like I said, the main thing is that people already have, like, dudes that they like to watch play this game. So uh, I'm really competing with those guys. Bombs. I don't need bombs. These can't be pushed in any sort of way. Let's go this way. Ooh. I don't know what the hell is going on here. Come here, baby. I love you, baby. But not like I love my guitar. Where does this go? Oh, no, no, no. 